This is a brief video about converting a base 10 number to a base 5 number. The key to this is knowing the columns, the place values. The place value for base 5 is 1's, 5's, 5 squared, 5 to the 3rd, even 5 to the 4th, and so on and so on. We need to know the value of each of these columns. 5 to the 0 is the 1's column. This column will be worth 5. 5 squared is 25. 5 to the 3rd is 125. We might even need 5 to the 4th, which is 625. No, we don't. That's bigger than 623. So we didn't need that column. So now that we know the value of every column, we can't simply plop these numbers in, 6, 2, 3, into the three columns, because the columns are in base 5, and my number's in base 10. We cannot just put 6, 2, 3 here. Here's what we ask ourselves. How many 125's are found in 6, 23? That will require us to divide 623 divided by 125. It goes in four times. I need four 125s. To fit into 623. 4, 125's is 500. So I need to take that 500 away from 623. You see I've already accounted for that 500 right here. 4, 125's is 500. So I took it away from 623. Now I have 123 left. How many 25's go into 123. So I need to divide 123 by 25. And it goes in four times. Four 25's, that's worth 100. So I'm going to subtract 100 from what's left and I have 23 left over. I've count, accounted for 4 25's, 100, taken it away from what remained. I have 23 left. Now I ask myself, how many 5's will go into 23? 4 groups of 5 go into 23. 4 5's is 20, and I need to subtract that from what I already had. That leaves three ones left. Three in the ones column. My answer is right here looking at us. Four, 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 three, base, five. 